This Friday marks the 50th anniversary of statehood for Hawaii. This week on Island Television News at 10, we'll hear from different members of the community, some who played significant roles in Hawaii becoming a state, others who oppose it. Tonight, former Chief Justice William Richardson. William Richardson was part of the group that went to Washington, D.C., lobbying for statehood. I'm Delegate Burns had asked me to come up to uh, walk in the halls of, of Congress to uh, try to convince some of my friends or make friends with some of them to convince them that we should have statehood, that we were good enough for, to become a state. Looking back, does he feel statehood has been good for Hawaii? Oh, it's been very good. Very good for the young people. You know, we ha now we have a say in our government. We weren't beggars anymore. Uh, maybe we had gotten used to that, but uh, now we know that we're not beggars. We can go out and demand something, demand things that other states get. And when there, when there was a dividing of the pie, we were right there. We, w we would have our share. Now, prior to statehood, the governor, judges, even our chief justice, were appointed by Washington, and statehood changed all that. William Richardson would be elected lieutenant governor of Hawaii and later become the chief justice of Hawaii Supreme Court.